themes that we talk about, and we're going to get into that, is continually to monitor your performance, whatever you are doing at the moment, and make sure that uh, you understand whether it's being effective or not, and then if it needs to be changed, change it. Do not expect that you got it right, right off the bat. There's a recurring theme here, message, test, change, and repeat. So those are the themes of this entire course, and I want to make sure that we reiterate that every week. So here's where we've been already. Uh, these are the first nine lessons that we've gone through. Uh, we spent two weeks on how to get started and launched, uh, actually three if you count launching, and we spent two weeks on socializing, which basically is using social media. There's a lot in each of those areas that you need to understand. And again, I want to reiterate again that this is a 50,000 foot overview of how to run a business. This is not the be all and end all. This is business 101, if you will, uh, in the current era that we're dealing with. And each of these lessons in and of itself could be a 10 week course, the how to do these things in detail. That's not my purpose. My purpose is to give you a blueprint for success and then I'm here to answer your specific questions on how to take this information and apply it to your circumstances. Again, let's make this as interactive as possibly can, so ask your questions as you go along. So today we are going to get into the art of rainmaking, and I'll bleak it right now. Rainmaking is nothing more than massive success in sales. So in business, a rainmaker is a person who generates large quantities of sales. Now this is usually done by building great relationships and creating a reputation as the go-to person because you've been able to create predictable results in the past. So think about that for a minute. Building a relationship and having that person know that if they need something delivered, you're the person that can make that happen. Um, and two things that make it difficult for a startup to, to make sales is first that as an entrepreneur you don't know who's going to buy your product. You think you do, but you might not. And you may not know what it's going to be used for. There are many, many instances of a product that was geared towards one specific niche or audience turned out to be a better fit for another niche that the people that started the company didn't even see in the beginning. How do you find that out? You talk to a lot of people. You make pitches. Um, and the second most difficult objective um, obstacle for a startup is that your products are not purchased. They're, so they're sold. You have to find somebody that is interested in being a little bit out on the edge. Why? Because People want to take as few ch chances as possible on a new company or a new product. 